What's up, YouTube, and what you know? My name is Domino with the Zero, and welcome back to Pokemon Crystal, the completely randomized Nuzlocke, episode number 37. In the last episode, which was yesterday, um, we were here in Kanto, so we decided to start taking on some gym leaders. We took on Lieutenant Surge and Sabrina. Uh, their teams were pretty difficult, pretty high levels. They're getting up into the 50s now, so if you want to check out that episode, you can click just above my face where you can go straight to that. Now in today's episode, uh, we're going to be continuing going around Kanto. I don't think we're going to do two gyms. We might wind up doing two gyms with the pace that we're going through this. Um, but uh, we'll see where we get. So if you're excited for more Pokemon Crystal, go ahead and hit that like button. Subscribe if you are new, of course. And share this video out. Help me get this video at least 10 views. That should be pretty simple. So let's see if we can do that. Now it's been a while since we heard from Liz. So... Uh, she says she's bored, silly, wrong number. All right, cool. Um, so how about a quick team recap? Nothing's changed in a long time. So Lattice, Lattice, Electric, Psychic, Hound, Doom, Uriel, Ice, Normal, Mew, Icaterine, Steel, Rock, Tyranitar, and Goliath, our Electric, Dawn, Fan. Now, I don't believe we have... I don't believe we've gone in all of these buildings. So... I don't know. I don't think we can go anywhere in here. Only employees are permitted to go upstairs. But since you came such a long way, have this neat little souvenir. Okay. <clears throat> I guess that didn't get randomized because I think that's what it normally is, isn't it? Um. Let's see. Let's see. So I, we 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 did that. We did that. Uh. Wait. Okay, so that's how I go up to Cerulean. I can't decide what city to go in next. Um, okay, actually, I, I have an idea what to do. Magnet Train isn't operating right now. Uh, I need to go get a Poke Doll. So let's actually head this way. This sounds like our best plan. So we're in route. Oh, let me, let me listen to this. Let me listen to the full thing. Wait, wait, come on headphones, work for me. Wait, wait. I can like almost hear it. I'm just trying to hear music. Nope, I can only hear one side. Rest in peace, all right. First encounter in Route 7 is a horsey, which should be dupes, yes. Also, Lattice Lost is leading. Oh, I can hear both sides. I had my head turned to a, a certain angle. I can hear both sides. It's coming and going. Okay, it's a Gligar. All right. So I obviously can't touch this thing. So let's just throw a great ball at it. You're gonna stay in the ball. You're gonna stay in the ball. Stay in the ball! Gligar! Gligar! Really? Alright, how about a Pokeball? This is annoying! Stay in the- oh my gosh. Alright, hold on. Let me go and pull up my random name generator. Okay. Uh, let's go back to Great Balls. It's gonna stay in the ball eventually. There we go. Jeez, that took forever. Let me change this over to first name only. We are getting down to the last of our encounters, I guess. I don't know. I feel like Kanto is not gonna take us very long. Like, I feel like we're gonna be done with this series, like, um, next week. But anyway, we have Gligar the Fly Scorpio Pokemon. It builds its nest on a steep cliff. When it is done gliding, it hops along the ground back to its nest. All right. And its name is... Uh, actually, generated a name. Wait, what did I do? I think I'm on feminine. 
All right, so his name is going to be... I had to change it over to male. His name's going to be Mads. Nice and simple. Let's check out Mads real quick. The Ice Fighting Type. Um, we might train him up. I do kind of make We need to have another person on the team. So, ice fighting. If he's ice fighting, is he still... Is he still weak to fighting? Let me check. So let's go... I need to go to here. Ice fighting. Who is an ice fighting type? Is Kerbominable ice fighting? Okay, that's what I thought. I think Kerbominable might be the only the only one. So it's still weak to fighting. And fire and flying and psychic and steel. That's so many weaknesses. And it's only resistant to ice and bug and dark. Well, well, uh, we're going to go ahead and put him in the PC. Let's go ahead and deposit Mads. Wait, what box am I in? All right, I'm still in box one. <clears throat> so look at this. Look at that. I want you to look at this real quick. We have gone through, we have killed 27 Pokemon in this, in this series. 27 Pokemon have died. Oh, let me go and heal. And then I'm gonna go... See if we can find an encounter here and sell it on. My goodness, that took forever! And it's a Deli bird. All right. I don't, I don't know how to feel about a deli, a deli bird. Stay in the wall. Don't be a pain. Stay in the, it's not staying in the wall at all. All right, let's go ahead and bump up. We got ultra balls. Boom, one ball done. Let me change settings over to feminine. All right. We have deli bird, the delivery Pokemon. It always carries its food with it wherever it goes. If attacked, it throws its food at the opponent. Whoa, this name. We have Goofron. Okay, Goofron the Deli Bird. So let's check out Goofron. Okay, uh, stats. The ice grass, so if he gets hit by a fire type, he pops and just disappears from the face of the planet. Holding the black belt with false swipe, withdraw, sweet kiss, and aurora beam. And this is also a defensive mind. We have so many defensive mines. Go ahead and take this black belt from you. That could come in handy. But for now, I don't know. I kind of just feel like... Going with the four that we have now, that might be that might be a little silly, but that's just kind of that's kind of what I'm thinking about doing. So let's go ahead and pop our head in here. Underneath this poster, there's nothing. <laughs> I like that. I like how they uh, they reference Gen, uh, Gen One, where the where the game corner was, or where the rocket hideout was. So let's see what these are. Venonat, Caterpie, and Meowth. Nothing that I think is worth. All right, let's go. I think that we can tie. We can get some type of items somewhere in here. Let's see what we can find. Let's see what we can find real quick. 
And then we'll take on Erica today. I think it sounds like a wonderful plan. Someone was in the middle of composing an email. I hope you'll come visit Kanto. I think you'll be surprised at how much things have changed here. You also see many Pokemon that aren't native to Johto. To the producer. All right. Is this still the game corner? It looks like it. The programmer. Twins adorable. Jasmine, what? Graphic artist, he drew me. Is that right? Or, what do you say? I'm the game designer. Filling up your Pokedex is tough, but don't give up. What is my Pokedex like? It says I've seen 237. Oh, I guess I have to catch everything, don't I? All right. I don't think that, whoa. I aim that perfectly. I don't think there's anything to do up here. I think it's just like a remembering Gen 1 thing. Let me recount a terrifying tale. Then again, it's not as scary while it's still light outside. Come back after sunset, okay? Uh, maybe. We'll see if I remember. I am gonna record tomorrow's episode tonight. So maybe I will remember to do that. There we go. Uh, hidden items? Nope. You know, last episode I mentioned how, uh, Mr. Awada was the one that put this all together, like, made it so that they could do, um, whatever I'm trying to say. Multiple regions, could have both regions in here. Um, uh, but, you know, it is very, it's a very bare region, like, only the necessary things are here, but it still remains the only generation that has had uh, more than one region, which I think is, I think that's just, I think that's a crime, honestly, honestly, I think it's terrible that there hasn't been another two region game. Please, Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, be two regions. All right, uh, so let's go up here. Uh, hi, do you like Pokemon? Uh, no, I just asked you, huh? You're strange. <coughs> <coughs> hmm, quit mimicking, but that's my favorite hobby. Uh, my, 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 my women voice, my girl voices are so bad. Daughter likes to mimic people. Wait, don't I need a Poké Doll for her? Oh wait, do I have to trigger this somehow? I feel like I have to trigger this somehow. I feel like I remember that from... Oh, from my Gold and Silver Soul Link, uh, obviously off camera, uh, which... Hint, hint, there might be something similar coming soon. There's going to be a couple new series over the next couple weeks. I think I'm okay with saying that much. Alright, what's this way? Oh, I can already go straight that way? Alright, so Route 16. Yeah, look at how... Look at how condensed this is. Alright, so we have a Sunflora. A garbaggio. If it lives pound, I will catch it. It it lived pound. It actually lived the pound attack. Sunflora was caught. It is a male, so I gotta change back. What's our time like today? Perfect. We have Sunflora, the sun Pokemon. As the hot season approaches, the petal on this Pokemon's face becomes more vivid and lively. Generate a name. <clears throat> Some floor is nickname. <laughs> uh, Some floor is nickname is Chin. <laughs> That's a funny nickname. I'm not sure why. Let's check out our Chin real quick. So we have Chin, the fire fighting Pokemon.
Hmm. With Razor Wind, Spite, Bide, and Sludge Bomb. With insane defense. Good speed and everything else kind of sucks. So, I was thinking about adding this thing to the team. You know what? Firefighting sounds like a typing that we could use. We don't have any fires. We haven't had any fire all, all game. All series. What is it? Why is this guy standing here? I feel like that guy... Like, if someone's standing in that spot, I feel like they're important. Uh, what's here? You said we're holding an Edathon? Don't talk to me, you'll break my concentration. Sorry, bro. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. See, there's like no hidden items. Like, there should be a hidden item right there, and there's not. Okay, um, have we done everything? I guess so. So now it's time. Let's go ahead and head up the gym. Now, uh, the question of the day for today is going to be, we just talked about it. Um, if Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, if Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon went to a second region, what region do you think they should go to? Should they go to Kalos? Um, should we go to Kanto or another region? Let me know what you think. Uh, I would prefer, uh, to have a second region and... It only makes sense for it to be Kanto with the Alola Pokemon. Uh, at the same time, I could see them doing something like Kalos. Uh, and I think we need to go back to Kalos because we haven't, we've only been to Kalos once and there are all kinds of unanswered questions in Kalos. An Ursa Ring. This is our first time seeing an Ursa Ring in this playthrough. All right, took those people out quick, fast, and in a hurry. <sighs> Let's see if we can make it through this gym without uh, without any casualties as well. Level thirty-five Haunter, Gold Duck, level thirty-seven. Okay. Oh, that's so not fair! You can't just drag out my. That's not fair. It dragged out my lowest level. Okay. Hey, you want the Uriel? You can have the Uriel. Yeah, yeah. You regret that decision now. I know you regret that decision, Snorlax. This lady was all about the switch moves. I really hope we get a Kalos remake at some point soon. Like, a, a third game for Kalos. I don't know how they would do it. I think it's out of the rotation now. It doesn't. It wouldn't make sense. Well, no, they definitely won't be doing it. What am I talking about? If, there are, if they're doing a Gen 7 remake, I just wonder what their reasoning behind that is. Because there, there was so much that wasn't explored in Kalos. Like... The power plant. There are all kinds of doors in the power plant area that are like, this needs a key. And you just never get the key. <laughs> it's so silly. It's so silly. So this thing is a flying type. So I feel like we should switch into Ikaterine. And hit him up with that swift. Bye bye, Nidoking. King. How did he live? You know, with this whole randomized thing, it seems to have randomized defenses more like, there are more defensive Pokemon than offensive Pokemon in this game. That's kind of what I've noticed. Another Ursa Ring. So we had, we've gone, this is episode 37. We hadn't seen a single Ursa Ring and now we've seen two. So just to be safe, because we really can't afford to lose any team members. If we lose team members, we're in trouble, because 
you know, we're kind of rocking with four team members right now. So. All right, all right, back to Erica. But yeah, there's, you know, I feel like Pokemon went through like a transitional period where um, Gens 1, 2, and 3 were absolutely phenomenal. Gen 4 was a little bit of a step back, but they were pretty good. In my opinion, I thought Gen 5 was really bad, but that's just my opinion. Uh, obviously, Gen 5 did well because it had black 1, white 1, and then black 2, white 2. Um, and then XY was just like a, it was like a, like when did XY come out? XY must have came out in like 2013. That sounds about right. And then like Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire came out like the very next year. Or maybe it wasn't the very next year. Maybe it was, I, I don't remember, but it just seems like they skipped over 6th gen. And then in 7th gen, obviously they're doing an amazing job. So uh, let's go ahead and save because we have done a lot today. And I really don't want to redo it. And actually, I'm going to go ahead and save state. So where are we at? What are we at? 37? All right. So let's go ahead and take on Erica. <clears throat> See if I can remember her voice. Remember her voice as if I have more than two feminine voices. Anyway. Hello. Lovely weather, isn't it? It's so pleasant. I'm afraid I may doze off. My name is Erica. I am the leader of Celadon Gym. Oh, all the way from Johto, you say? How nice. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize that you wished to challenge me. Very well, but I shall not lose. That's weird. There's like a, there's like an extra half of a beat. Level 46 to start. Okay. Hold this whirlpool, Mr. Geo Dude. I also feel like I'm not really in the center of the webcam today. Or I'm not like staying in the webcam. I feel like I'm I feel like I'm testing the borders of the webcam today. He used Mega Punch. Okay. That was super effective though. So I do need to be afraid if I ever see if I see Mega Punch in the future. Also, shoutouts to Oh, my soreness. No, shoutouts to uh, my yawn. No, shoutouts to battle animations being turned on. Okay, that did nothing. Now, I know I have several Pokemon that can take this guy out. But uh, let's see if Ikaterine can handle, or Ikaterine. Whoa. Okay, there we go, that's super effective. That'll work. Why you only hit three times? Come on, Lattice Lass. Come on, Lattice Lass. Sent out an Aerodactyl. This thing has no weaknesses. Slam super effective. I'm going to use Horn Drill because you won't crit me. Yeah, you're dead. I don't know what Aerodactyl's weak to. I really want an Aerodactyl on the team. I really want an Aerodactyl on the team. <gasps> Sneasel! Hi! Greetings! I would love to catch a Sneasel. What is up with these female gym leaders having great taste? Yesterday, Sabrina had great taste. Today, uh, Erica has great taste. This is just wonderful. Just wonderful. Oh, I can see defeat. You're remarkably strong. I shall give you Rainbow Badge. The Rainbow Badge. What is up with all these Kanto gym leaders being cavemen? That was a delightful match. I felt inspired. Please, I wish you to have this TM. It's Powder Snow. It's a wonderful move. Please use it if it pleases you. 
Thanks, Erica. Losing leaves a bitter aftertaste, but knowing that there are strong trainers spurs me to do better. You got it. You got it. All right. We are already three badges in. Uh, it might take, I don't know. There might be about 10 episodes left of this series. I'm not 100% sure, but let me go ahead and save. And let me go ahead and save state because we know that uh, just saving isn't good enough for me. And that is going to do it for today's episode of Pokemon Crystal. So today, um, basically we just did all of the Celadon City stuff. Um, taking out Erica, exploring around, caught ourselves a sun floor that I may or may not grind up before the next episode. I haven't fully decided just yet. Um, but we did that all today. In the next episode, we're going to make our way to... We're going to make our way to Lavender Town, I think. Um, and then make our way south to Fuchsia City. I think that's the, I think that's the next plan. Uh, I think that's the next path that I'll take, I think. I might double check the levels and make sure that the levels don't tell me that I need to do something different. But anyway, that's going to do it for today's episode of Pokemon Crystal, the completely randomized Nuzlocke. If you enjoyed, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, and I ask that you share the video out. Let's see if we can get this video over 10 likes, or over 10 views. Um, that should be pretty simple to do. If you share the video with just one person, it'll help so much, and I would appreciate it so much. We'll see you tomorrow for more Pokemon Crystal D, completely randomized Nuzlocke. Until then, have a blessed day.